Hello and welcome to another installment of Learning OSX. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun. Uh, we're going to look at how we can customize our uh, our dock. The dock, as you know, is the section uh, at the bottom of your screen that lists the uh, running programs as well as uh, programs uh, that you use frequently that you uh, want to have quick access to. So what we're going to explore is basically how to uh, make the dock look like you want. Um, on my machine, I have a. I'm using a, a MacBook Pro, so my uh, screen real estate isn't isn't that great. And uh, uh, but at the same time, the screen's not that that big, so I want to make sure that I can see all of the dock icons. So uh, my system configuration basically has the dock running the full length of the bottom of the screen. However, if I wanted to give myself a little more screen real estate, I might want to. Uh, scale the size of the dock down a little bit so I can I can see more of uh, what I have on screen and that's really simple to do with this uh, little divider line here so if you bring your mouse over to the divider and you click on it and then pull the mouse down you can decrease the size of the dock of course the size that it is now isn't very practical for me however if you're using a large size monitor and uh, feel free to visit learningosx.com and drop me a donation I guarantee you I'll put it towards a bigger monitor um, having uh, the smaller icons actually might fit your your screen size a little bit better so uh, making it uh, as small as possible is going to give you the maximum amount of room uh, for your for your uh, running programs uh, for the screen for your running program so let's scale it back up a little bit so you can see very simple to uh, add or increase and decrease the size of your uh, dock window the other thing you might want to do however is relocate the dock uh, the dock doesn't have to live at the bottom of the screen although that's where uh, Apple sticks it by default in order to relocate the dock and you can uh, stick it on either side of your screen is if, if that's uh, better suited for you uh, you click on the Apple menu select dock and then you can change the position as you can see you have two other optional positions left and right move it to the right and as you can see here the scaling still works and move it to the left. And we're actually going to move it to the left and stick it there for the rest of this demonstration, or at least for the next part. So now we have the dock sitting on the left side of the screen. And as you can see, it's restyled itself a little bit. It's not that uh, cool uh, three-dimensional slab uh, that the dock at the bottom of the screen um, uh, has drawn. Um, so let's we're going to scale this down a little bit. Okay, And that gives us, uh, at least on my monitor, it takes up about two-thirds of the screen. So now that I have this minimized, you know, I might find that, you know, it's hard for me to discern which one of these um, programs is actually which, uh, especially as I get to some of the, you know, if I go a little bit smaller. And so uh, you can sort of have your cake and eat it too. Uh, the dock has a magnification feature, which you can turn on. Whoops. Sorry, that was hide. Well, let's talk about that. So the other thing you can do is you can hide the dock. So it only appears when you need it. And you basically bring your mouse over to the location and the dock appears. Let's turn that back on. And we'll get back to the magnification. So we turn magnification on. Now, when we zoom in or when we select the, uh, hover over the dock, it zooms the icons in. Now, the size of these icons are maybe a little little too extreme, but you can customize, customize that too, uh, very simply by launching the dock system preferences. So we go back to Apple, dock, dock preferences. So now what you can do is, as you can see, the magnification's turned on. You know, that maintains the state from here. All right, so we can turn that, and we can also set the size of the magnification. So if you just want a, a hint, you can do that too. The dock has some other cool customizations. You can uh, specify how you want to minimize your applications. So right now it's set to the genie effect, so when we click minimize, it kind of slides on in. We'll open that back up again. We change that to scale. You can see the animation changes a little bit. 
I like the genie, so we'll keep that on. You can also readjust the size in here as well, although I find that uh, having this here is handy uh, because occasionally I do need a larger, or I'm sorry, yeah, larger, a little more real estate on, on my screen. I'm going to stick this back on the bottom and we'll bring the size back up. And that concludes this tutorial. For more information about how to get the most out of uh, your Mac and OS X, please visit us at learningosx.com. Thanks.